Yo, what up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 guides. Today I'm going to be going through all the hex location guides and... Um... I will be going through most of the hex location guides, I should say. Because uh, most of the hex NPC will sell them. I will show you guys the locations where uh, NPCs don't sell the hex and you have to go pick it up in a um, location or something. I will show the location, so... Yeah, most of the time I'm just going to be naming NPCs and I will show you guys who the NPCs are and how you can find them. Um, yeah, but I'll put that in the end of the video so you guys can go check that out. Uh, if you guys do want to know where the NPCs are, make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, so enough about that. Let's jump into the hexes. Alright, so uh, first off, we got Dark Orb. Um, you can It's sold by Strayed. Falcon and Grandolf, okay? Da number two, we got Dark Hail. It's sold by Grandolf, Strayed, and Macarode. Number three, we got Dark Fog. It's sold by Strayed. Number two, uh, I mean, number four, we got Affinity. We it's also sold by Strayed. Uh, next, we got Dead Again. It's sold by Cloan. Uh, Dark Weapon. It's sold by Falcon. Whisper of Despair. It will... You can only find this in um, the Grave of Saints, and I will show you guys that video right now. Okay, so for this hex, you want to be in the first bonfire of the Grave of Saints, and you can pretty much make a speed run, but note that you might get mauled down by rats. Uh, it's kind of a risky move to run through all of them, but I'm just going to be showing you guys the location. And you want to plunk a Pharaoh's Lockstone, so make sure you have a Pharaoh's Lockstone for this one. You know, plunk it down, and then the bridge is going to come down, okay? Uh, if you didn't take care of the rats in the past room, they're gonna follow your ass and try to attempt to kick your butt. And I should have edited this part out, but eh, it's just a little clip of me getting kind of mauled down by rats. Yeah, they're they're real pain in NG plus <laughs> plus. Uh, they got like a shitload of HP. <clears throat> so after crossing the bridge, just head on upstairs. And, and the first pickup you can get, it's the Hex, okay? Whisper of Despair, okay? Alright, so, okay, so after Whisper of Despair, uh, we got Repel. It's sold by Strayed, but this is the thing about this thing, okay? Um, it's kind of like a trade. You're going to have to have the um, Giant Lord soul for this one. Uh, so if you haven't beaten Jan the Giant Lord and you haven't gotten his soul, uh, straight will not trade the soul to you, so make sure you beat him first. Uh, next, we got the Twisted Barricade. You can only obtain this in Doors of Pharaohs, and the video will play now. Okay, so for this hex, you want to be in the Doors of Pharaohs, and the first bonfire, make a right instead of going to the left. Make a right and come to this watery area. Be careful about this area, because if you're playing online, there's a chance that a Rack Covenant guy can summon you to their world, and... It'll, it'll just stretch the run longer so if you guys don't want to deal with that shit you can just play this offline and you will not be pulled to another world by those rat dudes and up this uh ladder thing here it looks weird i guess it's a ladder and in the first pickup it's the spell okay all right so yeah after that we got the numbness uh, it's sold by Strayed, but you gotta have to beat the Rotten and NG Plus first for this one because you're gonna have to need the uh, the old dead so so if you guys don't want to enter NG Plus you guys can bonfire ascetic the the rotten and then kill him there so you don't have to jump into NG Plus to get the soul. So yeah you guys can do that and Um Yeah that's how you obtain numbers. Okay, next, uh, we got the Scraps of Life. It's sold by Cromwell. Uh, we got Dark Storm. It's sold by Grandolf and Macro. okay? Next, we got the Resident Soul. Uh, you can obtain this either through Falcon or you can rank up in the Abyss Covenant or the Pilgrim of the Dark Covenant and rank 1. You can obtain it through rank 1 of the Pilgrim of the Dark Covenant. Uh, great resident soul you can obtain this also through falcon or you can be in the pilgrim of dark rank 2 okay so if you're in that covenant and you're rank 2 you can obtain 
the Great Residence. So next we got a Climax. You have to be in the Pilgrim of Dark Covenant rank 3 to obtain this, okay? So yeah. Next we got a Resident Flesh. You can buy this from Falcon. Uh, we got Resident Weapon. You can also purchase this from Falcon. And here we got Life Drain Patch. You can obtain this through straight, but this is another boss soul trade thing. And for this one, you're gonna have to defeat the Dark Lurker. And you're gonna have to defeat the Dark Lurker and trade his soul to straight in order to obtain this um, hex. Right. Finally, we got Profound Still. And this was sold by Grandal, okay? And that's gonna wrap it up for it. All the hexes. Now, let's go over some NPC locations. First, we got Strayed. Uh, you can find them at the Strayed Cell in the Lost Bastille. I believe it's the fourth bonfire. Next, we got Grandal. You can find him at the third bonfire. I believe the underground bonfire of Drag Lake Castle. And just keep right after you go to the bonfire. Just keep right. And he's just going to be chilling right here. Next, we got Falcon. Falcon can be found at the first bonfire of Huntsman's Cops. So just go into this tunnel right here and he's just sitting right there. Okay, next we got Stone Trader Cloan. Uh, Cloan will be first found at Harvest Valley and after Exhaustive Dialogue, she will appear in Majula. So you're going to have to talk to her here first before she heads into Majula, okay? So that's what Cloan's about. Next we got Cromwell. This one's easily missed. Uh, he's kind of in this kind of like a hidden path. It blends in with the environment. But if you come over here, there's gonna be like a ladder right here, and Cromwell is just gonna be hiding up here. Yeah, it's kind of like a hidden path. I missed it a couple times, but eventually found them. All right, next and last, uh, we got Magro. Uh, he is found at the Iron Keep. Uh, just cross the bridge. This is the first bonfire of the Iron Keep. So just cross the bridge and head on into the castle and make a right right away. Okay, hang a right right away. And into this little area here. And Magro is going to just be chilling right there. So yeah, see you guys next time. Home's out.